Welcome back, Odours. It's almost my favorite time of the day. You guessed it, lunchtime. I hope you're as hungry as I am because today we're going to set up vendors and products in Odoo's Lunch application. So Odoo's Lunch app allows users to add money to their lunch account, check out the daily offerings, and order food from a variety of vendors. When their order arrives, they're notified so they can go ahead and grab their grub. So enough chit chat, let's go ahead and jump in our database and follow along as I set up our lunch application. Okay, so here on the dashboard, you can see that we already have some products and vendors set up, which is pretty useful, but we need to add some more. So first, let's check our settings by navigating to over to configuration and settings. So I have to set the overdraft limit. If I want employees to be able to purchase items when they don't have enough money in their accounts, I can set a maximum overdraft amount here. And in my case, I'm gonna set it to $10. Don't wanna go broke. So up next under reception notification is a message that is sent to our employees when their food arrives. This message already looks good to me, so we're not going to make any changes right there. And don't forget to click save. I always say, save your settings. Now, up next, I need to add our newest lunch vendor, the Soup Shack. Okay, so now you may be thinking, hey, soup from a shack? But rest assured, they're very qualified vendors, and they make a mean cup of chowder. So without further ado, I'm just going to go to our vendors page by navigating over to configuration once again, and then vendors. And I'm gonna select the new button up at the top to enter the information. So if I enter the new vendor name, the soup check into the second drop down vendor field and click create the vendor title. Look at that, up top, it automatically fills it in. That makes it kind of nice and fancy. But if I wanted to, I can actually still edit it if I need more detailed of a description. So this vendor over here has multiple locations, but we are only ordering from the one on Main Street. So you guessed it, we wanna add Main Street over there to the end of the main vendor over here field at the top. I also need to enter the rest of the contact info. So I'm gonna add the address, copy and paste, the email as well, copy and paste to save yourself time, and then the phone number, which is not a real, it's not a real number, YouTube, please, it's fake. So this availability section also, by the way, determines what days this vendor's products will appear inside of our lunch app. They're closed on Mondays, so I need to uncheck the box over here for Monday and you should as well for any vendors. So the order section itself deals with how orders are placed and delivered. They offer delivery, so I'll make sure delivery is selected right there as well. They will deliver to our headquarters only, so I'm gonna set the location to HQ office. Now you may be asking, if this was left blank, they would be available to deliver to all of our locations. Let's not forget how we order. So I'm gonna set the send orders by to email, Meaning orders are gonna be sent via email instead of calling them in. For the order time, I'm gonna set it at 11.30. This means that after 11.30, this vendor's items will not be able to be ordered for the rest of the day. So last over here on our vendor form to configure is our extras. It's stuff where any extra items are configured like toppings, free items, beverages, honestly, you name it, we do it all. So just make sure you remember, anything listed here appears for all items this vendor sells. So make sure that the extras listed apply to all their products. Now let's add some of those extras. Okay, the extra, well actually the name extras under extra one label is fine as it is. So first I'm gonna set the extra one quantity to none or more. And what does that mean? That basically means that when a user goes to purchase a product from this vendor, they don't have to select any of the extras we're adding to this category. So one or more requires that the user make at least one selection. Only one means the user must select something, but only one. None or more makes sense for this one, so I'm gonna leave it as is. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna click add a line over here to the right and enter bread bowl, and I'm gonna enter $5 for the price. It's a pretty expensive bread bowl. Now I repeat those steps for the rest of these offerings. For example, we can add another line and drop in a bread roll for a buck, a dollar. So they're also offering, in this case, a free beverage with every order. So to set that up, I'm gonna enter, well, what it is. It's gonna be a free beverage with purchase in the extra two label field. So for this one, the quantity is going to be only one. They're offering a soda, a diet soda, and water. So we're gonna add those as we're going along right now. We're gonna leave the price at zero because it's free. It's the best thing. Just like our free, no credit card required trial. Okay, the soup shack looks good, so it's time for us to go and add their products. All right, so the very first thing we mean to make sure over here is that our categories for products are set up. So I'm gonna go to configuration and then product categories. 
So these are the default categories we have, but we need to add a soup category. So I'm going to click on new and the type is going to be soup. Then I'm going to go back to the list by clicking on product categories inside of our breadcrumb menus, which is today is a sourdough bread bowl. And there you have it. Okay. Now we have to add some products. So I'm not going to lie. This is my absolute favorite part about Odoo, the food. So now I need to go to our products page by navigating to configuration and products. So here we can see all of our products in a list view. Okay, let's add some piping hot delicious soups. First, I think we'll go with a very simple classic, a chicken noodle soup. So to add this, I'm gonna select new, and I'm gonna enter the word chicken noodle soup for the product's actual name. So up next, I'm gonna set the product category once again to soup, make sure it's set to that. I'm gonna set the vendor to the Soup Shack Main Street location. A cup is adjusted for inflation at $4. So I'm going to enter that for the price. And then once that I'm done with that, I'm going to add a description and a photo. I'm going to paste in a long description right there. And then let's link that little photo. So now this item is new and I want it to stand out. So I'm going to set the new until field to the end of this week, which happens to be a Friday. So this will display a new tag for our product until this Friday. And it's pretty useful if you have new offerings. At least I think so. So now I want to share the good news about our new soup. So thankfully we have an alert section. So I'm going to head over to configuration and then we're going to select alerts. So this alert is going to be about the new items. So to make an alert, I'm just going to select new, enter new soups available for the alert name. And if I want, I could send this as a chat message by selecting chat notification for display. So selecting this, as you notice, it basically reveals a recipients field where I can select who receives the message. Maybe some people really want to find out, but I want this alert to appear on the main launch app dashboard instead. So I'm going to set display to alert inside of the application because we can do that. So this alert only applies to our headquarters since the soup shack is only delivering to the location. So I'm going to set the location to HQ office. No need to make everyone else jealous because they can't get a hot cup of chicken noodle in the middle of the day. So we're going to show all of this until the end of this week. So I'm going to set show until this Friday. And you'll notice it's already set to active. So that's pretty good already and all set to go. So I want this to go out every weekday this week. So I'm going to uncheck Sunday and Saturday from the notification time matrix just because that wouldn't be the best thing ever. All right, okay, let's see how all of this looks to our employees. So I'm gonna head over to my lunch and I think it's time for us to select new order. Would you look at that, Odoo, is the best part of the day. There we have all of our new, all of these products and soups with their new tag and our new alert. Man, I'm getting hungry again. Well, that's it for setting up the back of the lunch app over here. So check out our other tutorials about ordering food and managing orders and accounts. Thank you for watching and remember, Never skip lunch.